Hey there, everybody. This is Ron. In the past couple of weeks, I've been recording a little bit at a time, uh, doing some updates, and I'm going to put those little pieces together to make this podcast, and this is going to be episode 111. I hope you enjoy it. Hey everybody, Ron here. Welcome to the Lost Trail Runner podcast. If this is your first time listening, then thanks for coming. Lost Trail Runner podcast is produced every so often, instead of every other week like it should be, for your listening enjoyment and show notes are found at losttrailrunner.com. Come back often and feel free to add the podcast to your favorite RSS feed or iTunes. You can also follow me on Twitter at Lost Trail Runner and Facebook. All links are in the show notes. Now let's get into the show. This is going to be one of those podcasts where I'm in my kitchen having breakfast and then getting ready to uh, go out in the weather. It's a rainy day today. I uh, didn't run yesterday when I should have. I procrastinated and ended up watching some YouTube videos on how to use a GoPro 5 session camera. Things like that. I'm really trying to get into this uh, video stuff. I put another short video on YouTube and it's just as bad as all the rest that I've done so far. But I figure if I do enough eventually some of them will get better. Hopefully. Um, I've spent an awful lot of money in the past week or so on uh, stuff for a YouTube camera. I don't know if I should have done that or not, but I did anyway. I mean, what else have I got to do? I I bought, let's see, in the past couple of weeks, let's go over all the things that I've done as far as, uh, let me pick up, pick up this mic and move it over to the breakfast table here. I'm trying to think of some of the stuff I, I purchased. Well, first of all, I traded in my original GoPro Hero camera, which I'd had for what, four or five years maybe? I I don't even know how long I've had it. But I didn't use it very much because it was just inconvenient. Because you had to physically push the button to start it and stop it whenever you're recording. And I, I just, uh, of course, I didn't know how to edit or anything then. And I... It just, it was a pain. So then, uh, GoPro came out with this offer. You can trade in any camera you have, GoPro camera, and they'll give you $100 off of the new Hero Session. Not Hero Session. Well, yeah, they'll give you $100 off of the Hero Pro. Let's go back. They'll give you $100 off of the Hero 5 black camera. And they'll give you $50 off of the Hero 5 session camera. And I sent in my old GoPro 
for a trade-in on the Hero 5 Black. And uh, I got it, and I really like that camera. It's waterproof by itself. You don't have to put it in a case. It has voice control, so you can talk to it to tell it to start recording and stop recording. It has stabilization built in, which... I didn't know that much about it at the time, but anyway, I bought that camera, and it came. Then I started looking at uh, GoPro um, how-tos on YouTube, you know, tips on how to use them, and if you wanted to do action stuff, say running through the woods, if you had a stabilizing gimbal then the camera would stay stable as you ran and your 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 videos wouldn't be so shaky so GoPro has what they call the Karma grip which is a stabilizer and I ordered one of those for my Hero 5 I got that and then <laughs> things started <laughs> snowballing. I went out and took the video and I liked the looks of it. And then uh, I was looking at a video on YouTube, I guess, and I came across one on the session, the uh, GoPro 5 session. And it's just a little square camera, you know, really small. And it had voice control and stabilization also. It didn't have some of the features of the bigger camera, but it was waterproof. I mean, you could just take it anywhere and do anything with it. So I just, <laughs> on a whim, bought that one, okay? Well, in the meantime, when I bought that one, I decided, well, I didn't have a big enough camera case for all these GoPros because now I'll have three. I've got a Hero 3 Plus Silver. I've got the Hero 5, and now I've got the Session 5. So I needed a camera case that would hold all those cameras with the accessories, so I ordered that. Then I was watching another YouTube video. One of the videos suggested that you should have a battery backup for that session because it doesn't have a removable battery. You can't you can't just pull a battery out and plug in a new one that's charged. You have to actually charge the camera every time you want to use it. So there was a suggestion that you should buy one of these little portable battery packs like that you charge uh, cell phones with and stuff so that you have a supply that you can recharge your camera if you need to. So I ordered one of those. Well, what else now? I'm trying to think. It's been a stream of stuff. Well, anyway, I got the I got the camera case, and it's one of those hard plastic ones. It's really a good one, and it's water resistant. It's got a seal, and it'll store all those cameras. Then I was watching another YouTube video, and one of the people on there has has this uh, camera type bag thing that you roll up, so you can put accessories in it. You can put cameras in it. You can roll it up, hang it over your shoulder. You can put selfie sticks in it, you know, because it rolls up. It's lightweight, and it's a good, you know, day thing. You can take it somewhere and just sling it over your shoulder and go where you don't have to carry your big camera bag. So you can determine, like if you go somewhere, you can take everything in your big hard case camera bag to store store it but then when you go out for the day you can just put this stuff in this other thing 
and carry it and it's handy. It unrolls. You can pull stuff out. You roll it back up. You don't have to worry about, you know, this big bag you're toting around. So I ordered one of those. So I'm um, accumulating all this camera equipment. So I better start using it, right? Well, then I've got a, it's a Nikon 9600 uh, point and shoot camera that I've had for a while. And it's a really good camera. And I thought, well, you know, I ought to be using that camera too. Because that'd be a good one to, like if I was going to do, since I've got my own YouTube channel now that nobody watches but me, uh, I can set that camera up as, you know, like a, in my house when I'm sitting at a desk or something talking to the camera and use that for like the main camera for my videos when I'm home and use the GoPros when I'm out running or biking or whatever I'm going to film outside. So I got that camera charging right now. I, I did a test run on a short video in the kitchen this morning where I'm sitting here eating my breakfast and the battery was fairly low. So I've got it plugged in charging up now. So anyway, I'm just rambling on, I know, but that's where I'm at as far as with all this camera equipment that I, I'm accumulating that I hopefully use on my runs. And hopefully, <laughs> if I'm going to use a camera and film some of these things, at least they'll get a little bit better as I go along instead of being so boring because I've looked at some of my videos and I'm really not impressed. But, you know, everybody their own. So... That's what's going on this morning. It's a rainy day, nasty out, temperatures about 70 degrees. I plan on after I finish breakfast, go take a shower, get ready, go out and run about a little over three miles, I guess, slop around in the rain. As long as it's not thundering and lightning, I don't mind running in the rain. I haven't run in the rain in a long time, really. But it's cooler and wet. I can put on a light rain jacket or semi-rain jacket. I've got a Solomon jacket that's, I think it's water resistant. It's not waterproof and it's lightweight and I can wear it. And if I get wet, I get wet, but it also keep you warm probably sweat more than I can do. <laughs> then, then I'll uh, get wet from rain that, that happens sometimes I'm sitting here eating oatmeal while I'm talking to you you're wondering what's going on so anyway trying to think if there's anything else we should talk about well not for now so I'll uh, turn my recorder off, come up with other stuff to talk about, and see you later, okay? Okay, it's another day, and it's another recording. I'm in my kitchen once again, but it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm drinking coffee, and... Wondering why I'm not outside already. Uh, one of the reasons is uh, when I... Well, I'm hearing thunder right now outside. <laughs> but, but there was a tornado warning. and I No, a tornado... Which is the least worst? The tornado watch? I think it's a tornado watch is in effect for this area and so then I went on the weather channel app on my iPhone and it looked like there was supposed to be no rain and 
of course, uh, I've procrastinated most of the morning. I went out to uh, Mountain Park yesterday afternoon and ran with Laura after she got off work. We ran a little under three miles. And once she left to go home, I drove out to Stone Mountain and took my GoPro uh, Session 5 and did a little video out there and ran again for uh, a little under three miles. So yesterday my total mileage was like 5.4 miles and today I'm going to go over to Alexander Park and run and I'm going to take my camera there also. I don't know if I'll film or not. Cause I don't know what the weather's going to be like. This tornado watch is in effect until about 6 o'clock this evening. So who knows? I'll just drive over there and see how it goes. And I may or may not do some video. I... I I did a little video at Stone Mountain yesterday afternoon just messing around with that session camera and uh, it's less than three minutes. I put it up on YouTube, put some music to it. So if you want to look at that, go to Lost Trail Runner on YouTube and, and laugh at another one of my videos. But I'm having fun doing it. All my... All my camera gear that I've ordered is here except my roll-up thing for my uh, uh, carrying camera gear on the on the go type stuff. And it's supposed to be here tomorrow. So maybe I'll come back after I run it, uh, Alexander Park, and tell you how it went. Or I might take my uh, Zoom H1 with me and record while I'm running. Who knows? It just depends. If I'm going to video, I can't record with my Zoom microphone. If I'm not going to video, then I can. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'll get back to you later. Well, good morning. Today is my third day of kitchen table podcasting. Actually, I'm not in the kitchen. I'm actually in the sitting room, which is right adjacent to the kitchen. And I thought I would give you another update. This will be the third day of this particular podcast. I went out to uh, Alexander Park on, what was it, Wednesday? I think it was Wednesday. Could have been Tuesday, but anyway... I went out there, and it was kind of overcast and cloudy, and I took my GoPro camera with me, and I needed to run uh, about uh, between three and four miles. So I decided I'd just go somewhere, place different. I hadn't run at Alexander Park in quite a while, and uh, it's got a uh, loop that's, Oh, it might be close to a mile and a half loop, and there's a uh, Frisbee golf course in the middle, and uh, it's it's a nice place to run if the sun's not out in the summer. <laughs> if, if the sun's out and it's summertime, and it's about 90-something degrees, there's no shade on about three-quarters of that loop around that park, so it gets pretty hot out there. But... The day I ran, it was cloudy, windy, and for about the last half mile, it drizzled on me. So it wasn't a bad day to run out there. So I had a good run, and I'm trying to get ready for this uh, Xterra trail race on the 3rd of June. This is 15K, and I've been... All of a sudden, I'm getting sporadic. I had a streak there of a, a week or so when I got my mountain bike refurbished that I was riding my bike and running and walking and all that stuff. And 
this past week, it, it just kind of fell apart. After Wednesday, Thursday, I just felt lousy. I just didn't feel like running. I didn't feel like doing anything, and I didn't. And same thing for yesterday. Yesterday was Friday, and I didn't do anything Friday. So I've had two days of rest, basically, that I haven't done any physical physical activity when I wanted to. It's, it's kind of like, you know, there's no reason to have a guilty conscience for not running, but you do anyway because you feel like you should have done something when you didn't. Well, that's the way I felt. I, I had this... Uh, thing where I, I kept going, I really ought to go run, and then I go, well, I just don't feel like it, so I didn't, so today's Saturday, it's the start of the M Memorial Day weekend, and my plan is to go out and run between five and six miles, and uh, tomorrow I'm going to go out to Livonia, Georgia, where my daughter lives, and visit with her and take my bike and run her bike out that way too. It's it's a lot more rural than the Atlanta area is, so it won't feel so much like you're gonna get run over if you're out on your bike somewhere. So that's my update for today and uh I may or may not put this into a podcast today and send it out or I might wait for another day or two and add to it. So anyway, I'll see you later. I was supposed to run Thursday and I really felt lousy so I didn't go do it. And so uh, I didn't do it Friday either, and Saturday I decided it's time to go run between five and six miles. So I uh, got ready, and a storm had come through, and it was wet. So I waited until uh, the afternoon, and I went down to uh, the Green Rate. Greenway Trail down by Lilburn Park, parked in the parking lot there, and then ran a, a 5.4 mile loop on the road up, up Camp Creek Road, which is uphill all the way to Arcado, right on Arcado, ran over to Rockbridge Road, and Rockbridge, after a while, starts going downhill where it takes back all the uphill you ran on uh, Camp Creek. And uh, I hit the Greenway Trail, and I went over to uh, Lions Club Park and back, a little out and back section to get in my four tenths because I ran 5.4 miles. And then I finished up in the parking lot of the Greenway Trail, the last section of my run was the Greenway Trail about a mile and a half. So I had a pretty good run that day. Uh, Sunday, I went out to Livonia to Lake Hartwell where my uh, daughter and her husband live now. They live on the lake out there. They'd invited me out and I didn't realize that they had a whole bunch of people out there where they had a party basically. They had uh, the boats in the water, well, they always have the boats in the water because they got a dock on a little boathouse. And uh, cooked out, cooked wings, drank some beer. Uh, I had planned to run out there, but I had a couple of IPAs beforehand, and <laughs> I decided I would end up walking. I had taken my bike with me, but... The front tire was flat, and I didn't have an inner tube with me. I know. You're supposed to carry tubes, right? So you can always change a flat. I didn't have an inner tube with me. So I couldn't ride my bike, so I decided to walk. I did have my Hero Session 5 camera with me, so I videoed my walk. And I put it up on YouTube as uh, 
a walk on country road that's what the name of it is and it's just basically the walk down the road with some music I hope it came out okay these things I, I'm i not a good videographer I'm just learning this stuff so hopefully things will get better as I progress anyway I had a good time out there I came back late Sunday night I I probably got home after midnight I guess and then uh, Monday morning which was Memorial Day I was planning on uh, running a couple of miles and when I, I, I went over to Parkview High School which is a couple of miles from my house parked in the parking lot there got out to go run on the track and the fence was locked but in the meantime as I was walking to the fence that was locked uh, lightning struck and some thunder at about the same time which meant that it was pretty close so I just walked back to the car and got back in and came home and later that day the weather cleared up and I went back over to Parkview and got got a couple of miles in and uh, since the track was locked up from the parking lot side I ran around the school and came around the back side from the uh, practice soccer fields and it was unlocked there and I I ran a half mile on the track I didn't do any track work I just if if it would have been unlocked I was planning on doing uh, a math test run but I didn't do that uh, once the thing was locked up and I started running and I just decided I'd just chug along and uh, I'm using a heart rate of 115 for a high heart rate so it puts me fairly slow I mean I think I averaged probably between a 1330 and a 1340 pace on that run which is pretty slow but allegedly your math if you run math consistently and train correctly your pace is going to increase with your heart rate being that low so we'll see I've used it in the past and I've never really been serious you know just an excuse to run slow I think but uh, I decided that I'm going to try to stick with it I've got the Xterra uh, Deep South 15K trail run this Saturday, and I'm still procrastinating whether I'm going to do the 15K or the 5K. I know I can do 15K. There's no big deal about it, but I just, you know, it's just going to be slow, and I don't know if I just want to go out there and run a slow 15K. I'd rather run a slow 5K and get it over with. So we'll see how that goes. So... That's it for now, and uh, I'm going to check this video out and see if it actually recorded. See you later. Hey, thanks for listening to today's podcast. We'll be here next time. Keep the emails coming in and be sure to subscribe.